My character at Zombie Burlesque is uh, Zenoc. He's the owner and proprietor of Club Z, and he's also the host for the evening. So I introduce the acts, and I tell some jokes, and I sing some songs, and try to make everybody feel real sexy and randy. I think people can expect at Zombie Burlesque a really awesome time. It's a lot of fun, it's very funny, it's very irreverent, it's very sexy, but also just like a really good time and a fun time and a happy show at the end of the day. Happy, sexy, funny? Can you expect that? I do not get, before shows I don't get nervous. I really just try to get in the zone uh, doing my makeup. It takes like a half hour to do the zombie makeup, so that really gets me in the zone of just like going out there and kicking ass, because that's what I'm here to do. Uh, I always have to improvise on the spot uh, as the host of the show. That's like what I do. There, for example, I have to introduce this really tender love ballet adagio, and I'm doing this speech about love and stuff and people being together and how long people have been together. But there was a woman here with her friends who were celebrating her divorce, so she was real mouthy. So I had to be like, "All right, lady, this isn't your portion of the show. Just and we'll get back to you." I like to think it's because. I have such a way that I make people feel comfortable then just yell out and talk back to me, you know? You'll never see the same Zombie Burlesque show twice. Like, come two nights in a row and it'll be completely different because based on what the audience is giving us, we give a different show and I give a different show, so come and see it many times. You should see Zombie Burlesque because it's the sexiest, funniest show on the strip, frankly. There's nothing as awesome as Zombie Burlesque is right now playing on the Las Vegas Strip, so come and see us. We're selling out. Good luck getting a ticket. Jesus, what would I do in a zombie apocalypse? I would have a lightsaber. That would be freaking awesome. Is that on the table? Or a Pokemon, Pikachu. Can I choose that? I'm gonna check the Pokemon rules, but I'm pretty sure Pikachu beats zombies. <laughs> um, it was hard being a poor black girl uh, in the mountains of West Virginia growing up. Uh, but I only lived there for two years before I did everything there was to do, and then we moved to North Carolina. Uh, and that's when I became a young white boy, uh, which was awesome. Uh, but I still feel like I'm three-fifths a black woman, like down deep in my soul. In conclusion, eating penis does not make you gay. Maybe? Probably. I'm sure. Thank you for watching this insane interview. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. If you want to know more about Zombie Burlesque or any of the cast, maybe even see them, you know, with their pasties on and stuff, check out zombieburlesqueshow.com. Zombieburlesqueshow.com. See you there. Peace! Uh, How's my hair look? Perfect. Brilliant. That was the right answer. <laughs>